Hi guys and welcome. Um, just bringing you an update, guys. Um, a lot of lakes at the moment have gone dead, and um, a friend of mine called me and told me to come down to here. Twenty-two sixty-eight at Oldberg. Um, we're at clip fifteen. I'll show you the setup in a sec, and we're doing all right. Um, we've had a nice uh, trophy bream out, and. Yeah, I mean, we're actually catching because I, I, I've just been at Amber for a little while and, you know, not much luck there at the moment. And as far as I've been told, it's pretty much like that everywhere at the moment. So, definitely if you're low level or high level, this is the spot you want to be at the moment. Um, let me just show you the setup. I'm not worried too much about that one at the moment. Um, we're just using a standard setup. We're using... Um, Standard rig, standard ground bait rig with bream ground bait, so nothing fancy. I like to use the 9 kilo carbon leader because um, you can go smaller and you might catch more, but I don't see it making a big difference. And I just feel with that 9 kilos, you know, the fish ain't getting away. Um, using a size 5 hook. And we're using the uh, natural pea porridge. Going on on my other rod, uh, actually on one rod, I am fishing for grass carp. Not much success in all honesty. I'll, I'll probably be better off just to fish for bream. Um, same sort of setup using grass um, ground bait, nothing fancy. And then going heavy with the leaders and that because um, there is big fish here. There is, you know, 30 kilo grass carp here plus, so I don't want to hook one of them and not be not be able to get it in. Um, yeah, here we're just at clip 15. I'm sure I told you, but if if I didn't, I I will link everything down in the description. Um, yeah, just just how dead it's been, you know, at the moment. It's been been awful. Um, been fishing around. Um, no luck at all today luckily I've come here and bagged a good few fish uh, for the grass carp you just want to cast over here to your right um, clip 15 also like I said I mean I don't want to say it's a good spot because I've not had many from from the from that side but I'm hopefully I will be able to pull out a big fish um, the bream is hot at night 8, 8 p.m. to about 8 a.m. At the moment, um, I'm still catching a few, as you can see. Uh, not really money fish, but, you know, the odd occasion you catch a decent one. That's why I decided to um, go for the grass carp. I'll show you what I've caught. Um, bream. Uh, what am I doing? Here we go, by weight. So yeah, we had that nice trophy here, and um, we've had a few decent sized bream. I mean, they, they all add up. Um, two black carp, nothing big from that side, but we've had two, and on the grass carp, a couple of these fish I caught trolling earlier, there's only a few. Um, grass carp, wait. You tell me we haven't caught no grass carp? No, well there you go guys. Um, I thought I did catch a, catch a few. I think I caught a few little ones I let go. Um, but yeah, if I was you guys, I would definitely fish for the bream. Because um, that's where the money is at the moment. And that's a, that's another tip I just did, dear guys. If you think there's a fish on your line, um, always press the R button. And if you get the warning, then you've got a fish on. Otherwise, you can sit there, like I used to back in the day, waiting for a fish to come along and you know nothing takes your bait and then you know you're, you're just wasting time so always you know pick the rod up and press r and if you get a warning you've got a fish on if you don't get that warning then obviously there's no fish on but anyway guys um i hope this helped you um i'm going to carry on fishing now try and get 100 fish in the net and see what we get but yeah i just thought this is not a bad spot at the moment anyway guys until next time tight lines